These are Spectacles 3, sunglasses with cameras that are made for augmented reality. They can do cool things like make it look like there's a tunnel of lights as you're riding along the beach at sunset, but they cost $380. So are they worth it? If you're familiar with the previous spectacles, then these work in pretty much the same way. You press the button to take photos or videos that you then view in Snapchat. But this time they're also capturing depth information. So once you import those snaps into Snapchat, you can apply objects or characters over your scene and then you can also export those videos so they don't just have to live within the app. But enough talking about what they do, I wanna actually show you. So I met up with Clay Weishar, an artist who's been using the Spectacles 3 for about a month now to walk around Venice Beach and see what we could come up with. Okay, so we wanna come around the corner here, allow enough distance between the wall and you, and we'll get um, some occlusion happening behind you. Okay. So you don't see it now, but we're gonna put giant reflective blobs behind her. Oh, how fun. Okay, so you tell me where you, direct me so what I you want me to do, stand. If you could go a little bit further, further. Okay. yeah. So a bit more distance? Yeah, so I'll take a shot here and back, and then I'll just kind of walk through. Straight shots give you the opportunity to kind of design along the path. We can try going back down. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try going down. So you go down and then I'm going to follow you once you hit sure. past the corner. All right. Okay, tap to six times. Let's go. All right, let's see if my friend is going to come up. Fantasy bird. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, not bad. I think my timing was a little off, but that's not bad. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And like, you're right. You can totally, you know, see that in real time. Uh -huh. like, you've done it. You wait like a couple of seconds and then you can redo exactly. it. Exactly. Right? That's cool. And you can try them on another video and you'll get a completely yeah. different result and surprise. Oh, cool. All right. Save as copy. At launch, there will be 10 lenses that you can apply over your snaps, everything from rainbows to confetti to giant floating blobs. And more will be added fairly soon with both snap and third party creators like Clay making their own lenses. But my favorite one so far is the flying bird, just because it responds to your movement within the frame, like in this example where I'm running down a path. So now let's talk about everything else. They're a metal design and a metal frame, and they are pretty adjustable depending on the size of your head. But the design is kind of half future, half retro. It's one of those ones that you're either gonna really love or really gonna hate. But I think they look kind of neat. Spectacles 3 captures circular video at 60 frames a second, and you can view it in Snapchat and send it out to your friends, but you can also export it in a couple of different ways, either as circular video with that kind of tunnel vision effect at 4x3, 16x9, or even straight to YouTube in the VR 180 format. They also come with a 3D viewer that's basically Google Cardboard, so you can sit and review your snaps after you've taken them and they can only take 10 second videos at a time. Although you can take up to a minute or 60 seconds of video if you just tap and press that button six times in a row. So even if you've recorded 60 seconds of video in 10 second chunks each, you're gonna to have to go in and re-add the lens that you want to all of those clips if you wanna make it a continuous 60 seconds of video when you export. And if you apply something like the flying bird filter, for example, it essentially resets and starts from the beginning at each 10 second chunk. So it's kind of annoying now, but hopefully it's something that Snap can fix in a future update. Because these are sunglasses, that probably gives you the first indication that you probably A, shouldn't be wearing them at night and B, probably shouldn't be using them at night because image quality in low light isn't going to be great. Image quality overall is not bad. It looks totally fine if you're looking at it within Snapchat or on a phone screen. And I really found that it depended on which export that I used in terms of which one looked better. So the circular tunnel vision look looked the best when I viewed it either on a phone or on a computer screen. 16 by 9 though didn't look as nice to me as it did with the other formats. So you really just need to play around with it, but it's going to look best on the phone 
not as great everywhere else. The battery also doesn't last as long as I would like, especially if you want to go out and be snapping all day. So Snap says that you'll get around 70 snaps with each full charge of the glasses. Now that includes taking the snaps and also offloading to your phone. Fortunately, the case itself also doubles as a charger, so you can put it in there and it holds up to four full charges of the glasses before you need to juice the case up itself via USB-C. So here's the thing, that $380 price is really gonna limit who's gonna be able to afford them. For now, spectacles are just about creating, but you know in a couple years down the track, there is gonna be creating and experiencing all in one device. And think about it, Snap's biggest attention has really come from those AR filters and lenses that we all know and talk about, like the gender swap filter and the baby filters. Just those in the past year alone have been huge. Imagine a future maybe where you're walking down the street and you're wearing a pair of these and everyone's faces is changing in real time, in augmented reality. It's kind of creepy, but also kind of wild at the same time. Spectacles will be in a really limited run starting from November 12 on spectacles.com and select retailers like Neiman Marcus. Make sure you check out the full review, which I've linked to in the description below.